Greetings, geometry students. Uh, this next class, we're going to be continuing on with some of the same type information that we were looking at last time on measurement reasoning. So please add this new information to the end of the notes that you took before this. Our objective remains the same, to review the formulas and steps for finding perimeters and areas for various polygons and composite shapes. You do not need to, record, uh, to write that down again, nor do you need to copy down the diagrams. We are still operating under the same uh, parameters that we were before. Those of you that do not have the notes, I will pause on each of these screens momentarily so you can hit pause and then copy down the diagram as well as the measurements. Building number one was a regular hexagon with sides of 125 feet. Building two is a composite of an equilateral triangle and an isosceles trapezoid. The bases of the trapezoid are 125 and 75 feet. The leg of the trapezoid is 150 feet. For those of you that do not have the diagrams copied down yet, press pause. Building number three is a circle with a diameter of 200 feet. Building four is a regular pentagon with a side of 125 feet. Building five is a composite of semicircles, a rectangle, and a rhombus. The dimensions of the rectangle are 125 feet by 100 feet. The rhombus forms an open atrium with diagonals of 50 feet and 25 feet. Building six is a parallelogram with a longer base of 175 feet and a height to that longer base of 150 feet. The base angles of the parallelogram are 80 degrees and 100 degrees. And we've already done a little bit of work on the perimeter stuff, so there is the list of questions if for some reason you still need it. And today's assignment is going to be this. Since the businesses in the building are funded, uh, funding the purchase of the lights, the city is going to drop 250,000 flyers from helicopters to recognize the donors. How many of these flyers can theoretically be expected to land on the rooftops of the buildings? Round answers to the nearest hundred. Okay, so you definitely need to copy uh, that scenario down as well as the first six questions dealing with the areas of the buildings. Now the idea of the helicopter flyer drop is they would like as many of the flyers as possible uh, to reach the ground so that people can actually see them and pick them up. So how many of them are going to land on the rooftops is of considerable concern. And if they feel that too many are going to land on the rooftops, then they may actually choose to increase or possibly decrease the number that they are dropping in order to make sure that they get the right numbers uh, into people's hands down on the street. Okay, so the six questions are the area of the six different uh, uh, shapes that were outlined in the previous slides. And before you come to class, you need to address three of these area questions. And it does not matter which three you address, you're going to eventually answer all six anyway. But pick three and find their areas and bring that information to class with you. And that is all. I appreciate you taking this little bit of time to get your notes taken care of. Let's work some of this math out, uh, math out and I will see you in class.